So, yeah, hello. Um, yeah, we'll start off with my sci-fi Korea war. Um, I do not have yet any, yeah, I have a rough concept I use like this. Um, but I want to go more into the um, direction of, for example, Mirror's Edge, these glossy walls. Um, this is only for some futuristic shapes. Um, I have some some concept in mind, but I'm uh, not sure yet. Um, I hope the stream quality is okay. And my internet is pretty low, uh, slow. So okay, let's try. Let's start with some um, basic first. Um, first cut. Um, I, I think I go with some button line here and some kind of big big flat patches. I just continue with some cool futuristic cuts in it and maybe some um, some cables or something is just shown up. So let's first start with um, a basic shape we create. Or maybe we... Yeah. Create a node. Um, we first go with some two gradients. So we use these gradients um, to really going on and just making boxes like we want to have it or just yeah so that we can define a shape with it. So therefore we go with the histogram scan um, and it's just so that we have the position and we can increase the contrast to a pretty high level. So that we and then we just multiply them to simply get a shape. Um yeah let's Okay, maybe that's not the best way to do it. Yeah, okay. So, we go with it. Maybe adding some kind of a shape here. Just attack, transform to denote. and we subtract it. Um, so now we go into this and we can see now just um, turn off the tiling okay maybe this, this makes no sense uh, Just first block out some basic shapes. I can what so that I uh, see what I can do. I'm mean, gonna go this way and increase the size.
Ja, okay. I know what that's. Okay, yeah. I'm not the best, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Some kind of um, just duplicating the transformation 2D node and just blend it again with simple add. But we make it a bit smaller. Okay. That really makes no sense to me. I have to start with a new patch. Um, maybe I go with first with a. I try to to just use an exit etched attack to later um, get the squares, um, and then. Okay, using two. Um, okay, global offset it. So now we have just two panels here. Maybe I, yeah, let's let's go with this. And. That's not what I look was looking for. Square shape. Okay. Okay, I just try to go another way. I'm just building up boxes and blend them together so that I get some kind of cool effect. This is what I just and then later use the edge detect to get some sharp edges. There's some bottom line. Ah. Okay, let's bring this up to one and make it not tileable. Okay, and then we pass T. We just subtract it. And you just bring the wall a bit more down. So this is our base layer. Okay. Now we could add a few top panels. Just
tiling mode. We want to have it horizontally tiled. Okay. it uh, yeah we see you see the problem we have it's black so I go here and use this this as a mask and say okay we blend it with a uniform color and put great now so that we get the co still the color but we don't get this black edges from the one from the first panel um so make sure you make it to uh, change it to gray grayscale and we say to copy and then uh, 100% changing the color and you see all the panels are got, went totally through it. Um, so that's a thing we can just think of adding or subtract it. So I want to go with a subtraction. I duplicate this one um, and then move it to the top. So I get some kind of an imprint. Imprint into imprint into the thing, and then at later add this is on height map to it. So we define first define the different layers, and then just later on add this to it. So what we're doing here is like blending. We first make um this working right so that we later get some kind of an imprint so I invert is invert grayscale so they get cut in and we just simply add this so set up the panels okay we sl maybe we need a bigger box for it so we use this as our first transform we just reset the transformation make a new transform to denote because we now use this without tiling so that we get more of the edges moved in one panel that's setting on the top you can manage it to bring it in so that we have one panel on the top maybe we just set here levels levels node and set up that it's not that black maybe we want to have some imprint imprint into this area later First one after the other, just okay we have now this one positioning it. Um then oh, we need to 
set up the so that we have the edges here right and left um, level it up or just okay we make another transformation to the node so but this time we tile it uh, we only tile it horizontal and now we can just set it in we can have multiple areas here just always separated from each other See now we have, uh, we have some okay. Now we see we have this. Is it, is it straight like it should? Um, Maybe there's another way to do it much more precise, but I just go fast through it. It was just an idea to to make it to create a texture like that. Okay. Um let's go and create some connections between this, some cables or something. Um, therefore I, I go with yeah, a, a tile generator. They only have horizontal numbers. Um, and I say scale, I give in uh, scale variation and give in gradient. Uh, okay. We use the input image and put a gradient in it. So we have different different kind of cables. Getting some variation. Um Skills. Okay, let's. So in the end we had some cables. Okay, and we want to have them a bit bending. We add a directional warp, what do we say horizontal? made a mistake there. Yeah. Okay, just let them bend. Uh, levels node. You know, to to get this kind of bending just 
that it's slightly going straight to the edges again. Okay, with some cables here. Okay, I moved this about to the side to just only attaching the band, uh, the, the cables to this one. Um, okay, we say simply max it out. So we keep this highest point. We don't want to have tiling on this. Okay, but before we combine these two, we just have to um, just have to give this this one this one the shape we already can can put it as uh, just view it just going in the basic material and normal and yeah the normal we go into our two graphs with uh, the preview tools Okay, we just add in a few other things like the ambient inclusion and the base color. So uh, we get some kind of preview here. Okay, now you see we have the first thing of our uh, sci-fi panel. Let's go into the high-res plane, default definition, and just add a bit of parallax occlusion. Uh, or it's better to go with tessellation one. Uh, we do not have the, the height. Let's go and add the height map. Okay, so now you see we have kind of a kind of an effect. It's all pretty quick and dirty, but. It will, I think it will do the job. Um, let's go and as you see that, that top bar here, we increase the size a bit. Uh, now give it, give, now we use some bevel or something to give this one a shape or this one here. So that we have a shape we can work with.
Okay. Okay, what I see here is that we... Okay, he just moved, he just reduced the smooth batch over there. But I want to have a levels node. You see here the smooth batch, but I want to push it completely. So that we get a hard edge there. Then we use a custom curve. Um, can we just custom curve that we could have um, let's try some gradient and giving it some gradient map I don't know exactly how this special gradient work okay so it's simply the gradient here and now go to a gradient map Not distance, we want to have the gradient. The gradient map, just turn it to grayscale. Ah, he always he always puts it there. This is something I don't want to. Um but now we can have this is our lower level, our higher level, and what I want to do is to push the higher level a bit up and set some in between here, some mid level and set the low level up. Or we can I think we can remove it and use with a bit with this. Okay. So um that these exactly the same these values we have here. Uh, okay again. So now you see we have some kind of a leveled effect here. Okay, bring it in, and now we have some kind of level effect. Uh, you see that the the um, my my cables came through it, but I don't want to have it. So I go here and set a levels node. Oh no, it was the wrong one. Uh, here I have to add a levels node. So I could put them, push them completely over this um, lower edge or just lower than this. And I, I think I go with the lower level there. So it reduces the height until it's below this, this level thing. Uh, now you see. Maybe we can increase increase the bevel so that it's more visible. Okay, it's on the outside, so but if I put it negative it goes to the inside. So there you see we get some kind of nice sci fi panel over there on the top. Now continue it with the rest of it so maybe we use this um, setup here as our level setup um, maybe I go a bit up with this so that we get some some kind of a hard edge here oh, okay that won't make the job it's like this gradient is this edge here Yeah, do it like this. We'll reduce this this kind. Okay. So that's fine. We have our first top panel. Now adding some more detail to it. Some maybe some additional layer here. Where's my bottom panel? Here, these are my cables. Uh, this is my bottom thing here. OK. 
Okay, I'll go just duplicate this one. Um, just no. Just get an additional blend. Just add this through and say uh, levels a levels node first, so that I can control the height of it. I'm going to invert it. And in the end, I, on this, I say, I uh, give me the minimum, the minimum result of these two things. Um, and what I can do now is, I just want to, I want to um, lower the bright parts till we get something we can work with. Um, for example, I want to cut this upper part there okay ah uh, he takes the minimum okay um I see here it takes the minimum um I don't want to okay let's do the print um, as a max lighten. Okay, now we have a higher level. Just reduce the height a bit. Ah, okay, that's now I get it. Okay, min darken. Just lower the level to. Some pretty dark, and then we put this on the top level here. Let's put this a bit lighter, and this one not that dark. Um, let's go and add another thing. Just let's clean this up a bit. So this is my final work. This is my box, and these are all my transform to the nodes here. They just basically go from it and give me some for shapes. But these two are uh, not exactly the same, but pretty close. Okay, this one do does nothing at all. Yeah, let's clean this up to just have it separated. Okay, now just add one. Um okay, we have a straight y level here, but maybe I want to add certain parts on top of this, so I go and just level this down these top parts you know less less height uh, okay we. There is something. Okay, we leveled this one too low, uh, too high. I oh, know that was the wrong one. Uh, this one is. Ah, oh, it's an add linear dodge. Okay, we set this. Um, back to min. 
Okay, that didn't work. The max lighten part. So I still want to have the cables. Um, maybe I need to go with the cables just a bit more in this direction. Am I? Yeah, it's. I think it's just okay. But I think another thing um, when we have the bevel here. Um, it cuts it, so we need to just detach it and use this last transform to D node and add another transformation to D. And say and we want you to uh, tile horizontally. so that we do not lose the connection here okay first step of the cipher panel, okay the bevel is too huge so okay what's about the last one here Um, the last mix here. Okay, it's Mindarken. Okay, now we have our additional edge here. Um, Okay, that's my last level. I want to reduce the, the heights so that we can add an additional uh, thing to it. Therefore, we go with our box here and just adding a texture to the node, uh, a transform to the node, sorry. And this one is just simply we giving it an additional shape with this one. And we see simply uh, just max it over, max lighten, and there you see The moment is is pretty overlaid, but as we go and make a blur over it, a blur, blur high sc high quality, not that much, and then we just again level, level it up. We get some we get some perfect rounded edge here. Okay. So we have some perfect rounded edge. Um, just we can also lower the level a bit. Okay. And again, we want to have the same one. to have a transform so we take you and just 
blend you again with max lighten. So then we put it over here. Um, now you see it's okay. We leave the one out, um, this one out here, and just only go with this panel and put this all over the way to do not to destroy a bit of a tiling we already have. When we look into the tile mode, we that we do not see that they are just too aligned with this segment here. Maybe I go over here and say set an additional texture to the transformation to the node and just move it a bit to the right. And we get rid of this tiling. I'll now add some more some more of this um things here. So they want to go and bring it up to the top here. Uh, we still want to have a tiling. So we set absolute and we want to have horizontal tiling um, see we got a problem on the horizontal tiling Just disable the tiling for this. And now one last panel for the bottom, for the bottom line. Again, we say we want to max. Uh, 
max lighten and just adjust the transform to G node. And again, to offset it a bit to get rid of the tiling. Okay. Okay, we have now just a simple perfect tiling and everything is fine. Have some sci fi elements over there. Yeah, maybe we can add some more. Okay. Um now I want to add some more of how to say um some kind of a um um just when you when you see that you have a perfect line, we never have uh, you never have this perfect straight line uh, line uh, line up things. Um, you always have a bit of a destruction or um, yeah, some some effect that just comes out. Um, so to that just destroys a bit of the perfect um, surface. Um, I didn't know exactly how to do it yet, but I think I have some kind of an idea. Oh, so therefore, I take my my flat areas here all together. So what I blended here. Um, but I simply use 
this one as my base version. And so I got in the end I got all these parts here. Uh, what I do now is I just a blur high quality grayscale, then blend them and want to have this one and then subtract this one from it, uh, the second one from it. Uh, just reduce it. You see we get some highlight edges and they fade in to the to the inner circle. Um, so maybe we can have some more blurriness. Okay, that's quite too much. Need to still have the lower cuts here visible. Um, then I just again Blend this um, with this with our result. Or we can go a full, um, full way. And then just overlay it. Go in with the add sub. And do it very, very subtle. I see you get uh okay we need to have a different just we need to invert it. So we have this small bumpy edge that kind of destroys a bit of a surface but gives a more natural feeling to it. Okay, so let's start with the separation of um, the color masks. Um, so I don't want to waste too much time because Mirror's Edge is waiting for me. <laughs> um, so let's start and do some different um, different color layouts. So first we uh, take our combination here and this is uh, one layer. And we set up a blend, we set an add node, a simple color. Um, and we take this yes, as yeah, our base color is yellow. And we go with this one as our first mask. And we set this, we level it up so that we get bright spots and only the dark ones. And we mix that with another color, maybe green. So we have our first green and yellow thing. Um, I think the cables we go with one version. Let me increase the size and the texture size. Because it's pretty. So let's go with the cables. Um, maybe I just want don't want to have this crazy, crazy, um, this crazy bevel over there. I need to go here and just. This is just too dark. Let's go and say 220 and you also got 220 Let's go first with um, with the cables. Um, 
Um, yeah, that's. Let's figure out where we add the cables. Um, we have them over here. These are this. These are the um, cables. Um, what we do here is to make a blend because we only want to have the the cables. So we use that one and subtract the output of this one. And then we get exactly only the cables who are visible, and then we level it up so that we get a clear mask from them. Just again, blend, use this one, just the blue color or some, some other color. This is for the cables now. You see, you see only cables here. Uh, let's go and let's um, use this one as one level. Level. So therefore, we make a gradient because we want to separate the top and the low levels. You need. You know that that um, difference here. So the level was two two hundred twenty. So we created here one adds at two hundred twenty. Uh, no, we add. No, oh, okay. It's Okay. Yeah, we need to figure out where the right, what the right way is, how the right level is. But it looks promising to me. So that is. Yeah, let's go here and pick some other color. Maybe some this one. And um, again, we blend this blend node, no, just to blend, add this on, and then go with this, the height map here, and we say level, and we want to put this all up to one, so that we get our color level, uh, our color colors, there's one black line here, we need to figure out where this comes from, uh, it's because of the blacks here, Okay. Okay, let's go to our gradient here. So we have um one problem here, it's because of the rats. Twenty zero zero to have pure red. Okay, so now you see Okay, so you see it's perfect aligning. Everything looks fine. Uh, let's do let's turn this around. Maybe there is some overlapping here, you see. So, um, this will help us to define this part here. Um, I think now we, we've colored nearly everything. Maybe just we should add some fences here, but this will we, uh, this we will do later. Um, I first want to use this. It's because of the gradient of uh, the ambient occlusion. So the ambient occlusion gets some kind of problems when it comes to um, 
to real flat surfaces. Yeah, let's increase the contrast, roughness value. Um, yeah, let's check out our color just by multiply it over Uh, yeah, so you see now we have the panels are green, we have defined different materials, but now you see that the panels here have some have some edge. So this is because of we have the levels node here and we do not set the black point to the right position. See now, as we go to the whites, Uh, go too far. Okay. Now it's perfect. There, what would we have here? Oh, we missed something. Okay, yeah. I think we went too early with this. Uh, we have to just duplicate this one. Out of this and just to add this plant here. So now we We do not get it, right? Oh, damn it. Okay, that was the one for the this panel. And let's let's do another one uh for this one here. Okay, there we have an an additional levels here. Yeah, my, I missed all this stuff. That's pretty. Um, all these setups, because I sometimes use the final, the final textures, sometimes not. Uh, let's bring it in. So now it looks pretty nice and good lined up. We still have this one. I think there we go. Put this in. I'll put this one in. Uh, okay, wait. This is okay. We again. I have to set up an additional one here. It's not the smartest way. Maybe there's some other. Uh, so there is definitely some other way to do it. Um. But yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> listen to the chat. Uh, yeah, some kind of, it's uh, a sci-fi um, wall panel. Hey, is it, is it, is the stream okay? Because I don't know, I do not see it, um, because it's still not loading for me. Um, and my, my internet connection is pretty slow. Um, I'm sorry for that. But yeah, I have now just the color set it up. Um, yeah, I just get around with this cut over here. It's also some kind of not visible. Maybe I can go now with the 
but here with the with the cables a bit higher. So I have here my levels for the for the cables. Just increase the height, um, and I can just work a bit better with the with the well values. You see, I can just put this a bit up. Um, put this uh, slightly lower so that we get rid of this edge here. And then we and we have a slightly different position. We can move this up. So yeah, a bit more. Um, so let's increase. Okay. So we have the cipher wall. Um, let's bring it into max and work a bit with the. Just give the wall some shape. Um, that we can edit it in Substance Design, uh, Substance Painter, Painter. Yeah. Um, as Max loading up, I just save the images. I need to take a look at my normal map if this is looking good. So I don't want to catch too much of the value, uh, destroy too much of it. Let's make 20 is good. It's pretty hard to see the normal um, and the values when you're just using a real flat surface. I think it looks great. Let's let me enable the reflection. Um, looks some kind of acceptable. Yeah, I just sorry. I just always use some kind of tricks. Um, I don't want to use the 3D effect directly in Max. I just, but I can show you how to do it. Um, but I want to um, use Max as to prepare um, to prepare a, a mesh that I can use later on in Substance Painter to get better results out of the generators and stuff. Um, I don't want to, um, so let's go and just put the height in the normal. Um, normal, just... Um, there's one thing, when you have the normal, there's only an alpha channel in it. Um, but you can disable it o over here. Sometimes in some engines it makes some problems. Um, not in Unity or something because there you have to convert the normal maps anyways. So and he just deleted the normal map then, uh, the the alpha channel. Ah, the three effect on the material. Sorry, I just re read wrong. Um, you mean the the displacement? It's like you go onto under materials, defaults, definitions, and there you have the metallic roughness or if you use uh, specular glossiness, you have two types of uh, one is the tessellation and one is the parallax effect. I like more the tessellation because then the shape also gets um, gets just bro breaked up. But um, I like go and and then when you have the definition, going to edit and then you have the scale va va value. 
I mean, if you put it on 5 you see you have this nice 3D effect but I don't want to have it like this more a bit subtle and then you get this 3D effect but you take uh, make sure that you have a tessellation factor on and I always use if I use displacement I use the high risk plane because when you go and display the wireframe uh, you don't see the what you just uh, let's reduce the tessellation factor it's pretty high res that mesh and it's better for displacement okay let's continue with the tutorial or to work I just save it on the desktop because it's nothing I want to save that graph it's pretty um, messy and just use the height map and um, yeah for sure the our color map I don't know that's the one with um, with the cavity or my fake albedo that's a graph I can go through if you want I don't know how it go how to make the chat visible I don't know how to detach the chat even from this dashboard window I'm pretty new to to uh, to twitch so I don't know anything about it I just use it to stream things and try to yeah try several things and and it's kind of fun to show other people some tricks like for example show up the 3d effect um, anyways just continue and save the color map So just and max just set up fast some materials here um to see how it's look like. I just only use the bump map or the normal map. Oh a lot of images. Where it is? There it is. Okay, just make it visible and yeah, should work. Then make a plane on the front panel. Um make sure it is square and just reduce the things just add this. Okay. Now you see we have the panel here, only the normal map because um now I want to add the add additional effects to it. Um, let me just add, enable some specularity. Um, let's make it as an added table polygon and just find the edges. Um, yeah, preserve UVs so that the UV is still in position. We have one two okay two so first just want to set the shape here or I went over here and an additional one here Okay, let's continue. So, let's 
connect this in or just bump this in I try to uh, keep as close to the original height map as possible um, with this one so I think this thing will do the job right okay just add some additional uh, some smoothing groups yeah um, down here I, I will do some other thing um, because I want to have this edge here around it I chamfer it a bit and I will also maybe just chamfer this bottom edge uh, I don't know I just keep it okay and then go into other normals we just go into phase mode and we average the selected into the fi uh, into the face direction so and then we we collapse it you see we have you just we have this more or less perfect edge okay let's just say it and just duplicate it over to another spot spot copy and we just attach this one say weld there we have some kind of a, an issue let me check out what it is okay um I don't know exactly what it is, but could came from 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 my substance. Looks uh, looks kind of structure here. Okay, it's it's on the texture definitely, and over here it's also. I know where this comes from. It's ah okay. I know where this comes from. Um, because over here I I set it this as, and added a invert grayscale and a blur to it so to get this kind of an effect but I have to go another way then um, and just I think I just I will leave it because it's not worth <laughs> So where it is, there it is. Just remove it. Again, go into the normal map. Maybe we can add it later. Um, but first, we just go with this. Okay. Overwrite the corridor normal. And it's still looking strange but only on this one is because I think because of the added normals here you see that they are broken reset this and again just into the face direction now it's better okay this is our yeah, let's call it our cipher wall. Just export it again to the desktop. Sci-fi wall, uh, corridor wall, wall, score mesh. Uh, we don't need animations. And let's go into Substance Painter. Okay, just um, a new 
create a new project, um, compute tangent space per fragment, just, I know, but it should give a better result. And we want to have metal, uh, metal and roughness, add a few things, or maps we already already created. And we need to uh, select the mesh. So sci-fi choreo wall. Let's press OK. And then we have our wall. Um, just set the textures as our um, ID map with the ID map. Select ID map it's here. This is our height map. We put it into thickness. And then we have the normal map. You see, well, see, there it is. Beautiful and reflective somehow. Okay, and then we bake the rest of the textures um, out of the textures we already already have. Um, yeah, so let's start with the first layer. So a base layer, our base layer, just make a fill. And this is our base color, some some rough metal. Um, go into the fill, just color, some rough gray metal. Um, uh, and it's pretty metallic. Maybe we add a uh, texture into the roughness. Okay, so we have some other things that we can. Uh, really, oh, where we have. It's, yeah, it's. Um, yeah, we go with it. Okay. Oh, cloud is not the best way. We need to have something with less roughness. And say UV scale to 2. So that we get a bit of a structure here. Okay, Let add, let's add our first layer, or um, we make it as a group. Um, because this is our group, we add a mask. And this is our um, first layer, so the big panels. And we say we, we want to have a Where's my? Oh, there's the color selector. I pick mask and I say the green one. And on this layer, I just first add um, a fill, and this is our base. And I think we we just um, keep it a bit white. The roughness is pretty low. The metallic is pretty low. Um, that's yeah, a good thing to start. Some polished things. Um, let's add some kind of destruction or some kind of messiness over it. So let's add another layer. Add a fill, and we. This is. These are our scratches. So we don't want to. Add uh, half. Just put on the color or um, the roughness or metalness because it's still not metal if there are scratches on it. It's some kind of plastic, some artif artificial material. Um, and therefore, we add 
only the right and the height and roughness because we want to have the cuts in it. So let's go and put the height down. We will see that layer later. Um, then add a black black mask, and while selecting the black mask, we're adding a generator. And on this generators, there are a lot of cool generators, but we're looking for the scratches. Uh, there's some scratches which will add. Um, Edge select, edge notch, edge dirt. Um, yeah, some kind of edge derm damage first. So it's a bit of heavy on this case. But you see now, we we put in these edge here, just in the 3D model. You remember here, it's not in the normal map. It's simply in the 3D model, and this is something. Where a substance designer really, um, or substance painter is really strong to um, see the model, and you can have just I just only made these panels, and then just in the model I I added this three-dimensional um, kind of bottom thing. Okay, let's ambient occlusion is no, there is no ambient occlusion. Um, maybe I c could create one out of my height map here with an ambient occlusion layer. Um, just put in the height map and look what it what we got. Yeah, it's let's do it a bit less and just save this as our ambient occlusion. I O. And we want to go to the desktop and drag and drop it in if we find it. Um, there is the AO. Let's first go to the textures tab, and drag and drop it in. So, okay, now we have an ambient occlusion and it's already put in. Okay, let's start and just try to reduce it so that we have only a few edges okay there we have a kind of edges but you see that the height is too strong so let's change the height of our fill layer here We get a pretty low level of it. Okay, uh, looks a bit pushed out. Okay. So let's try to get some color in it. I think it, the scratches need some kind of color to separate a bit from the, from the other things. Maybe it's just some some yeah some white some some more lighter edge to show a bit of damage here. It's the base. It's just too dark in my opinion okay let's check the, the roughness
Okay, so now a bit of damage, just add a bit of leaking afterwards. Um, or some kind of simple dirt. Let's go with this. Add a new layer. Add a fill. And then add a black mask. But first, let's go with the fill and add some some brownish color tint to it. So we want to have some some dust or something on it. And just add a generator. These generators are so damn awesome. Let's go with the ground dirt. I see it's getting pretty dirty, directly pretty dirty. Um, we take the world space normal as our position, because then we can you see that it's, it's just disabling this one, but we want to invert it and. Yeah, okay. Um, add another just um, a level snow to it because then we get the opportunity to just slightly reduce the effect. See, it's still to uh, still have the roughness too high, uh, too low. So we increase the roughness. Um, I found out that we that you can use the um, the position or the world world space normal map with the green channel as your height, so that you can set a bit of a, a, a top layer effect. So something is coming from the top that's a pretty cool effect you can use for whatever um, in this case for the dirt but I, I'm not happy with um, with the level of contrast here okay Still reduce the height of the level. Get a slightly slight effect. Okay, get some bit here. Okay, and the next generator, or the next layer, and the next generator. Again. Add a fill. This one we use as just some dirt, some some leaking. Therefore, you use some kind of dark greenish brownish color. And the leaking just can have a bit of roughness. And we add a bit of a hide information to it because the leaking is always set. Over the over the top, it's more like oil stripping or something. Okay, add a black mask. Just add a generator, and I put 
maybe the lakes here. Um, yeah, it's leaking pretty crazy. I'll put down the contrast. don't want to have leaking on some um, angle or something. Okay, variation, contrast. Okay, yeah, I just keep... Um, maybe we can just use here also the position, I don't know, the normal, the world space normal. It do not work that well. Okay, now we have some some leaking. It's quite too intense for me. Maybe we can just reduce it again with the level, add levels, and just reduce the height, uh, the the high level. Uh, okay, I need to change the color. Can we just use the alpha? No. Okay, that's too much. Too much dirt, too much of everything. Just to simply breaking it up. Okay, so we can really move the levels I think because we have the ability to remove the opacity itself which is also a mistake. Um, okay, what do you have? The base the roughness. Yeah, a bit of roughness. Okay, let's add some scratches, some additional scratches. Um, these were our scratches, and I want to just duplicate them. Okay, and there I want to have a different different generator. Yeah, that's too much. It should edge, edge, edge. Okay, this is more what I was looking for. It's a bit too intense.
Okay, I went to just uh that I don't know. Okay, just that's okay. Um, I'll leave it like that. It's not the best, but it takes too much time, and I want to finish with the rest. Maybe is the base metal is too dark. Anyway, I will just add a, later on a, an additional additional um, layer. Let's go with the cables as at the next with our flat panels. Add a new layer, just set it a group, and this is our cables. I will make them as a uniform color, just maybe some kind of black. And don't will I won't um take too much time to do it. Add a fill, the black color, um, really high roughness, not too high because it's and no metalness. On then here we add a add a black a black mask, and, or just directly with the color selector. So we have our cables on top here. Um, um, the next what we add is giving these panels um, an additional color, maybe some orange or something. And this is for the lower parts here. Um, Doric it is definitely it is just a paint. That's that's so we'd have nearly no roughness. And it's some paint of black thing. And we will destroy it later. Um, but this is the first one, the first level. You give them, yeah. And uh, the next is we had an, an additional mask um, with the fill, so that we just first make both both of these actions because they're more or less the same material but have a different paint on it. And this fill is basically some kind of orange. Okay, that like I will see look I will look later how it looks. With the color selector, pick a color and we want to have it this way. Um Okay, I get so far. On this fill, we do not want to have height, roughness, or metalness because we want to use. Ah, that was the wrong one. But we don't need this. But here on this one, we don't need the height, 
color and roughness. So because it's the same material, uh, it's, we need to have a high roughness. It's it's a paint. Um, let's go here and just add a mask with color selection selector. Pick it. Pick this one and pick another color. This one. And then we have this top selector thing. Mm, I'm not pretty sure if the color really works. Um, maybe it is better to remove the top part and let's add on this flat panels um, the top part so that we have directly have this top part as a layer. Um, you see, uh, we do not was perfect. We do not align it perfect. Let's go back into Substance Designer and check out what we've done wrong here. It's the blue level, blue layer here on the end. Um, Check it out. So this is the blue one. This these already ca the cables. Okay, we mix it into the, in the gradient map. Oh, that was too much. So that's with with a workflow like that, you can pretty fast change um, your texture pretty pretty fast. Uh, it's still I think we will go with it. It's it's fine. So again, just type the one. As our color map, go into Substance Painter. Uh, do it actually not. Um, go into Textures, and we'd say just reload it. it. Should automatically reload the texture. No, it doesn't. It does not. So. Again, put the color map in. I have to over it, add over it. It's kind of strange. Now just reload it. Somehow it do not work. Okay, now let's save it. As an additional color map too. Maybe he is just you cannot overwrite it because it's already used in Substance Designer. Okay, that's the color map too. Uh, yeah, he updates it directly, and we have it. Um, there we have some kind of a map. I don't want to like that thing we have thing we have here in, in the in the roughness. I go into delete it. I want to have some some perfect roughness, some good metallic. Um, and a there with this layer I need some different color maybe some brighter one I don't think we can delete this one ok 
Okay. Now we add some adjustment layers over the whole thing here. Um, let me just create a new one and we say we give them a folder this adjustment or dirt. This is the overall dirt. So we made the uh, um, these scratches here, um, several for this plastic thing. But now we add some overall dirt to it. Um, add a fill. Giving it some dark color. Dark brown and red color. So that's the overall dirt. Let's add a black black mask. No, add a black mask. was the wrong one. So the dirt, yeah, here add a black mask. And there we add a generator. And we simply add the dirt. So you see we directly get some pretty much some dirt. Um, first we need to set the roughness to pretty high value here because um, it's pretty rough, it's dirt. Um, so it's, it's too dark. Okay. Okay, so on we don't want to have too much dirt on the panels. Maybe we exclude them. I think that's a good idea. Go here and add a add a color selector. We pick a color, say exclude this one. Um, we say just really exclude it, and we gave. So we excluded the, the panels from the mask, from the dirt mask. And we pick another color, this one we also want to exclude. Um, yeah, here is some empty spot there, pretty ugly. Even. I should add some more in the height map, but not for today, it's for some later on, some, some other time. Um, here on this one, um, I think this is the lowest part, but I think there is there's, this edge here is too perfect. There is no damage, um, so I want to add a new layer. And just add a add a fill layer. And we have a pretty bright, and it's relatively rough, and it's high metallic. Let's put down the roughness. Did we get a bit of it? Just the height, reduce the height a bit it, because it's printed in. And we want to have the the edge damage. Yeah, Add damage. So let's add a black mask. Add a generator. So you see we get some kind of an edge damage here. It's pretty cool. But you also only want to have it on certain parts. So we should add a color selector. Again, subtract it, pick colors. We want to have it on the white parts, on this part, and we don't want to have it on the blue parts. So we only want to have it here um, on this metal base metal part. 
We can use more of the height to distract it more. Okay, yeah, now we have a more, more of a natural feeling to it. Okay. Let's add some more dirt. Let's make some dust. again so it's all straightforward all the same all the time roughness because it's On the third size ratio. Oh. Let's add some more. Wait, let's check out the color map. Let's hide the roughness. Metallic. Okay. Let's add some new layer. Add a black mask and you know, just add a mask from add a bitmap mask and we want to use the ambient occlusion now and simply what we want to do is let's invert the mask So give it a black color and we want to have it as a multiply. And we want to have only the color. Base color black. See, we get some some more dark parts. Gets more contrast. Um, here, I think uh, we're done. This is our result. Maybe I will just do some more stuff with it. Um, here, thank you for joining and listening. Um, I think it will go to the substance stream. See ya.